What is the crack lads and welcome back to another live update video. Every week that there is a live update I'm going to be giving you guys a heads up on what players I think you should be either buying, getting in your squad and recommending a couple of guys to switch out as well. Switch out, switch out and switch up as well. So obviously this week we have got the player of the week selection. If you have missed my review on that check it out but we do have a couple of the players up as you can see here. These are the player of the week selection there. Uh, Neymar, Mane, Taglifico, De Frige, De Gea, Oshman, Nelson. Uh, Gross, Gigi, Alex and Lenega. So there is a lot of good players there. Obviously, if you are spinning, let me know. But yeah, mostly why I'm saying this is because these players are all on A form. So if you have any of these, either standard version or you spin and get one of these versions, they are going to be on A form. But we want to take a look, obviously, as well at players that are on A form across the entirety of my club. So there's a couple of interesting choices in here and a couple of guys I definitely recommend um, for, you know, if you have a bit of GP as well. So we are going to start with Salah. Obviously, Salah is somebody that, yeah, I mean, he hasn't done it for me, lads. Genuinely, I just can't play with him. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I'm a Manchester United fan. All right, lads. So Salah obviously starts off at an 88 overall as a right winger. Now, he can play up front as well. But yeah, I mean, if you boost him up, obviously, I would be focusing on, if you're playing him up front, focusing on his shooting. And if you're playing him as a winger, Maybe that's where I've gone wrong. I've tried to play him as a winger instead of up front. I know a lot of people rate him up front because he does have a really nice combination of skills up there. But yeah, you can get his speed up to the 90s and his acceleration up to the 90s and his ball control to 90, which is extremely good. If you wanted to throw a couple into finishing, you could, or else you could obviously boost up uh, whichever you want, play style proficiency or whatever, or else you can just ignore that and boost up his speed a little bit more. And maybe he... Um, you know mess around with that but he does go to a 96 97 depending on how you you rate him up or you you boost him up um but yeah i just haven't been able to play with salah man he is on a form as we said but yeah Lewandowski is also on a form um you're not going to be really buying him for gp unless you're monty burns because he's got he's over a milli uh but yeah he's a really good center forward as well i think a lot of people I'm going to actually be playing with Lewandowski. Uh, I'm going to have him in my squad, I think. And maybe I'll have Morientes as well. But I'm going to have one kind of like aerial threat this week with the live update being the way it is. And, you know, Haaland is not up. So I can't really keep Haaland on the bench, even though he is a super sub. Um, but like, if you're just looking to, to score goals, like, I mean, this is the way I'd be maxing him out. I'd put him up to maybe 72 acceleration, 75 speed. And then the rest I'd be pumping into his he heading ability and his shooting ability. And that's kind of where I'd be going with it. Uh, because you don't need every single striker in your squad to be a speed merchant, you know? So I think Lewandowski is definitely worth the punt. Messi, obviously. I was cold on Messi for a long time, lads. And then I started playing with him again. And if you get a chance to be able to, like, get the ball in around the box and you're good at shooting, like, genuinely, I would definitely be boosting up Messi's shooting, lads, to get his curl and his finishing up as high as possible. Don't really worry too much. Again, he's kind of like Neymar. Don't worry too much about his speed. 75 is enough. I would say um, definitely get his acceleration up a little bit higher, but the rest of his stats are going to be fairly high regardless. You've got your balance. You've got your finishing. You've got your offensive awareness. Um, I would play him on the right side of the pitch and be able to cut in uh, with the left foot. And if you get used to shooting like that, you will be scoring a goal a game if you're actually good at shooting those finesse shots. You'll see we've still got a couple of uh, trainer points to go that we can boost up. You can get 90 ball control, 92 finishing, 92 place kicking, 92 curl and 93 balance. The acceleration is 84, which is quite high. We've also got the Bruyne. I actually have two versions of the Bruyne. Um, I play with him when I'm used, usually doing the events, which I don't really record. Uh, I just do that for the training points or whatever. Again, De Bruyne is De Bruyne. I mean, he's some passer, like absolutely insane passer. You get up to the 90s in passing there very easily. You can get up to tight possession 85 very easily. And then the rest can just go into, into um, speed and pace. Like you don't need to boost up his pace too much. A lot of people like that I've talked to said that they play him CMF, but I definitely wouldn't play him CMF because even if you boost up his defensive stats, you're not going to be winning the ball with him. I would literally just like make him the complete kind of player uh, that when he gets the ball at his feet, he's going to be able to dominate. And that's kind of how I would do it. We've also got Kimmich. Again, nothing needs to be said about Kimmich, lads. If you are not playing Kimmich right back, I definitely think you should. Because look, you don't even need to boost up his defense that much. You go to an 80 there. His speed is fairly good at 78. 
and then his dexterity which is going to bring up his acceleration we can boost that up as well and every other uh, you know every other attribute that he has is good enough his dribbling his ball control and his passing without training anything else plus he's got the stamina as a right back as well and he's got a load of really nice player skills such as pinpoint crossing and early cross so i know a lot of people like him as dmf but i definitely wouldn't sacrifice him i would put him as a right back he's one of the best in the game neymar we have got neymar and messi both in a form this week mbappe isn't but Neymar, again, like I don't need to say much more about Neymar, lads. He's top five in the game. There's a player of the week version of him there as well. If you don't have one of his legend cards, the player of the week version is insane. But the standard card, if you have 450,000 GP or you have him in your squad, definitely get him in. We've also got our goalkeeper, Ederson. Um, we've got Goretzka. I think Goretzka is one of the probably the most complete. I think Goretzka is probably my favorite center midfielder in the game because yeah, he doesn't have great passing. Like you're not going to be scoring or like passing a lot, like a lot of ball to him or through him. But if you give him 80 low pass and then you give him 80 ball control, the rest is just going to go into like hassling and hounding. That's kind of what it is. 80 speed. And then I have him boosted up, I think very high, um, with the defensive side of the game. I think I've even gone that much and maybe passing a little bit more. Something along the lines of that. I think I have, uh, something like that anyway, and maybe we have one out wide there or something like that. I think that's how I kind of have him trained up. But if you don't have Goretzka, lads, and you have 300,000 GP, I genuinely think he is the best center midfielder in the game. Trust me on that. I think he's absolutely insane. We've also got this guy, DePaul. Uh, he's fairly good as well. A lot of people rate him. We've got Luis Alberto. We've got Pedri. We've got Rafa Silva, who I featured last week. And we have got this guy as well, Kapambu. Now, I will be doing a my pick for the player that you should buy this week as well, um, who I definitely think is worth buying because I have bought him and we're going to have a look at him there in a second. But this guy is an absolute monster as well. So that is it, lads. You know, make sure and swap out your team if you have got a lot of players. You definitely knew, do need to have players that are A and B form. Like, I know sometimes if people have C form players that it's not going to be a huge... It's not going to be a huge thing to you. You might think that you have got players in there that are C form, but they're they're always kind of up, like the likes of Ruben Diaz or the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo or somebody like that. Even though Ronaldo's on D this week, I think. Um, but yeah, I definitely would. You know what I mean? I definitely would be kind of getting the players out that you don't need. Like, just don't take the risk on it. There's so many good players that you can try out and test that can slot in. Like, for example, Dembele is down this week. I have Neymar in. Do you know what I mean? So you don't need to... I definitely wouldn't be... Um, I definitely wouldn't be, like, just keeping players in just to keep him in there. Like, especially if he's on D or C. Because there's just no point. Like, for instance, Donna is on D form this week. As far as I know, Donna Roma is on D form this week. So I'm going to have to swap him out. And I've actually put in Ter Stegen into my squad. Uh, so, yeah that's kind of the way i've done it but yeah definitely fill your team with a and b abba as i call it fill your team with abba lads and play abba music while you're doing it but yeah that is it for me also next week we do have an italian national deluxe team coming and yeah i'd say donnarumma is going to be fairly high rated in that the player levels need to be updated a bit but all the players are going to have the team play style so uh, that's going to be one to watch on monday as well so that is it for me lads i will talk to you later don't forget to subscribe let me know what players you are using this week peace